Hello guys, today we are on uh, Blender 3.1 We want to do some experiments with the new modifier for Grease Pencil This new modifier will allow you to wrap your uh, Grease Pencil object on a 3D object And this I think will uh, open the door to new creative ways to use Grease Pencil So the first experiment is what if I had a rigged Grease Pencil mouth like this one or a grease pencil face complete face and i wanted to wrap it around a 3d head around a 3d character so let's try it out let's select our uh, grease pencil object and then go to the modifiers here and add a shrink wrap modifier now you take this eyedropper here you click on your sphere here and you see that our object was wrapped but you see that it is distorted so we will take our sphere and then hit G to move it Y to move it on the Y axis and put it closer to the mouth now we can select our rig here so this mouse rig we uh, already made in a previous tutorial so if you want to know how to make a grease pencil mouth rig check the tutorial it's here above or you can find it in the end of this video or below in the description so we go to pose mode and you see that we can make this mouth smile with this bone we have controls here and here we can control these teeth here these baby teeth and our tongue here also let's go to object mode again we move the sphere gz move it up and we have this look here we have some settings let's select our grease pencil object in the shrink wrap modifier here one of them is the offset so we can put the mouth further from the sphere you see that the 3d object is going through the fill that's because the fill is not going with the curve of the sphere that's why when it is too close you can see a bit of sphere above your fill with the offset you can fix that but you also will get your mouth further from the sphere the snap mode on surface inside we won't need that so it's on surface but there is this wrap method here and i found that the target normal project will give us better results like you see the mouth looks much better with this fourth method what you can do next is we parent our rig to our sphere here select first the rig and then shift select the sphere and then control p object to parent and now we can move the sphere and move the mouth with it you can even resize it like s z resize on the z axis so this is it the experience is somehow <laughs> successful you can use the shrink wrap modifier even with a rigged grease pencil object so we can have a bone for this head here and make it apparent to our mouth and then we can weight paint the head rake the head along with the mouth without using the parenting method that we used here now to the second experiment so now we have a second grease pencil object this one is just a 2d drawing with some grease pencil animation so if we go to grease pencil here we have some keyframes we have an eyes layer let's name it eyes and we have a mouth layer and we have some keyframes for the eyes and the mouth so if you play the animation you have the eyes that blink and the mouth shape that changes it's a very simple animation and it may work better than the rigged 2d face so let's try it out let's add the modifier to our grease pencil object use the eyedropper click on the sphere again it doesn't look that's good so let's try to move it or maybe before we move it let's try this method target normal project yeah it looks it looks great gy let's try to move it closer to our initial object so yeah let's do gz to move it up like this and now we parent it so we select our grease pencil object shift select the sphere here control p now they are parented and let's do a little animation so 
So here we are, a grease pencil object wrapped to a 3D character. We have 3D animation combined with grease pencil animation. So this is one of the creative ways you could use this new modifier. You could add 2D elements to your 3D elements. If you have a character with a t-shirt, for example, you can add a picture to that t-shirt. You can add a tattoo to your character, a grease pencil tattoo. To a 3d character you can even make that tattoo animating and changing color and doing a lot of stuff i like it and maybe in the future it will be even better the only problem is this space here and i think with this 2d version we can lower the offset even more so 0.02 it's now closer to the surface and it still looks good so thank you for watching the video leave a like subscribe to the channel check the other tutorials check the rigging tutorials the mouth rigging the face rigging the the body rigging and if you want to support the channel check my gumroad link in the description uh, check my files there some are free some are paid uh, buy some files to support the channel and check the tutorials attached also to those files even if you don't want to buy a file you can watch the tutorial attached to it and make one for yourself uh, so thank you for watching again and see you later peace